Hi all. Memorial Day weekend is now behind us. And the results in the office have been mixed. Surprisingly, many people came in having lost weight. Some people, and I commended them, broke even. And then there were others who put on weight. The problem demonstrates the power of food. How people are controlled by food and how it structures what it is that they do. I'd like to separate this into two parts. The first part having to do with alcohol and what effect it has and the other food itself. So we'll start with alcohol. The human body does not have the ability to store alcohol. So when you drink, it automatically and immediately metabolizes the alcohol. That process of metabolism stops sugar and fat metabolism. So what happens then, the sugar in the alcohol is used for energy and everything else that you imbibe, whether it's liquid that has calories in it or food is stored as fat. The equation is simple and the effects are clear. When you drink and you eat, the alcohol will stop your body from metabolizing what you digest and will store it as fat. Now let's get back to food and holidays and power. We can rid ourselves of alcohol and we can rid ourselves of drugs, but we're not going to be able to rid ourselves of food. The reason you have for losing weight becomes important. Many people are losing weight now because they realize that with the heat coming on, more of their bodies are going to be exposed and they want those bodies to look trimmer and that will make them feel good. The issue then is one of starting more and more to have conversations out loud with your different selves. No matter how many selves you have, you are always in charge. And with many who have a child self who is powerful, understand that the child self realizes that it is a child and that you have the power. It will cry, it will yell at you, it will scream, it will make demands. But aside from the noise that the child makes, the bugging you, the annoying you, the crying, the pressure, and all of that you feel as craving. But the child by itself has no power at all. And that's why it cries. And that's why you crave. Therefore, make a decision that you will be proactive and not passive. When you crave, recognize that the child within you is making demands. Not because you're hungry, but because the child 
cannot break through the emotions that you are experiencing. It wants you, like a child, to just have fun. And since that craving is making a demand on you, and we've learned that we can't from experience say no and be successful, then I want you to take action. Put something in your mouth as a substitute. Go for a walk. Sing a song. Wash your face. Take a piece of sugarless gum. Do something. Do anything. And anything that you do and acknowledge that you're substituting and anything you do to tell the child within you that you love it, that you're happy with it, but you're the one who's going to make the decision and when you do, the results will give you pleasure. Take care.